Good afternoon, everybody in Metro Lina. It's Steve Cole here with your VBH lunch break. I'm joined by Joyce Maynard, who I just found on Spotify. Um, searched heated swimming pool and found a song by that name. It feels like a heated swimming pool kind of day today out there to me. Hope everything's well wherever you are. Glad you could join us. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you out there. We're going to be joined, as we are always now on Wednesdays, by our own uh, community engagement assistant, the one and only Randy Smith. I'm going to bring her in to talk about what's, what's news in the veteran community. Uh, while we wait to, to pull her on, I wanted to give a quick VBH update. Last week in this Metrolina region, we served 49 veterans and families, and 17 of those were new to us. So, so of the four, of the 49, 17 we had not seen before. The balance, never do math in public. The balance of the 32 others were folks that either we were continuing to work with, or we were um, we had already seen in the past. Uh, those top services remain to be um, housing is is always a top need, and next is employment. Um, the third and fourth needs have been going up and down over time. So that's what's, that's what's news in the service providing. Hey, Randy, how are you? Hey, Steve, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm looking, I'm feeling good. You know, um, life is good. How are you? Things are great over here in the Smith household. The Smith household across the border, right? Down in South Carolina. Yes, down in Fort Mill. Fort Mill. So awesome. Um, glad, glad to join, have you join us today. Um, as I was saying, Wednesdays are community engagement day and you are a community engagement assistant. So um, talk to me, what's going on? What can I expect for the rest of this week and next week maybe? Yeah, we've got a bunch of good things coming up. We have the Valentine breakfast tomorrow, happy hour Friday as usual, open house on Monday, um, uptown lunch, all kinds of things going on in the veteran community here in Charlotte. Yeah, Valentine breakfast, the first time we're going virtual. So how's that going to work? It is. So uh, one of our captains, Michael Kruger, has been working tirelessly to put this event together virtually. Um, you know, typically this event happens over breakfast. You share a meal and there's a lot of networking involved. We like veterans that are in transition, maybe looking for a job and veterans that have really established careers to join us and have some of that networking and share experiences and um, resources. So we've been thinking a lot on how to do this virtually. And I think Michael's come up with some great ideas. We aren't going to be able to physically be there to share a meal um, and exchange business cards, but we are going to be sharing contact information and LinkedIn um, profiles virtually and able to kind of just get to know each other that way. So we're really grateful for him and the work he's putting into it. And I think it's going to be a good event. No doubt. Jody Lynch from uh, from Wilmington, I think, right now, or actually at the beach, maybe uh, Ocean Isle, says Michael Kruger is the bomb, and she is right about that. Um, Michael is. Kruger, we really appreciate him leading the way there. Um, yeah, how about the Uptown Lunch? Oh, yeah, fair enough. 8 a.m. tomorrow. Go to our calendar at veteransbridgehome.org. Um, click the link and join us at 8. Um, bring your own breakfast. Uh, I was going to jump to the Uptown Lunch, but let's talk about what's happening on Friday, our, our Veterans Bridge Home Happy Hour. Yeah, you know, these Friday happy hours have been the highlight of my week recently because you can't actually go out and grab a beer with friends um, up until recently. Now some orders are being lifted, but we uh, have decided to continue these because it's a great way to stay safe, um, but still get to interact with people. And, you know, me being new to the organization, I'm still learning a lot of people's names, getting to know everyone. So this has been a really cool way for me to just casually get to have conversations and see who we're, we're working with. So anyone that um, just is looking to hang out and, you know, have some of that just camaraderie, feel free to join us. And even if you're new to VBH uh, and have experienced any of our events before this is a great entry point yeah for sure um jody shot a question and said if, if i'm looking for a job is this a good event for me to attend and what i would say for all these events not just the happy hour not just the valentine breakfast but uh, you know your networking and your connections never stop so the fact that you're you're maybe not interviewing for a job you, you're still you can create your network i think it's a good place to do that 
Yeah, definitely. Some of our events are definitely more geared towards that than other. You know, the Valentine Breakfast is a lot about networking, while the happy hour is a lot about just uh, fellowship. But it's like you said, the more you're getting to know the veterans in the community, the more resources and opportunities you're going to be open to. Yeah, I think um, I, I, I just this is thinking in real time. Um, but I, I think we need a signature cocktail for the, the BBH happy hour this Friday. So let's, let's hear from you out there in um, Instagram land. What, is, what should be the signature cocktail for the BBH happy hour? It's got to be fairly simple. You know, let's not go crazy, um, but, but I would love to hear from folks. I love there. that idea. And I personally vote for margaritas, um, but yeah, anything is good with me. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's talk Uptown Lunch. That's next week. Yeah, so we do have Uptown Lunch next week. This is our second time doing this event virtually, and this is really a staple to Veterans Bridge Home, so it's really important for us to keep this going. We are going to be joined this uh, month by Miguel Vargas, the Director of Entertainment for the Carolina Panthers. So I'm really excited to hear what he has to say about all of the changes going on and what we can expect this season as far as... Uh, being entertained at the games and uh, all around that so it should be a good good person to have no doubt miguel is is a great friend of veterans bridge home he's he's pals with with pete Baco, of course um you know anybody whose title is the director of entertainment is, you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with miguel right? vargas That'd director of entertainment <laughs> i want to know I, I i'm maybe you know, I want to plan a few questions because I want to know about Sir Purr. I want to know, you know, entertainment, what's going on, what do we have planned? So, um, so that should be fun. Should be fun to hear. Um, one thing I wanted to share or, or, or talk to you about briefly, and this is for everybody out there watching and the people that will watch um, as this thing is, is repurposed on other social media channels, but the power of a personal invitation to some of these events, you know, it is really important. You know, it's not enough for me to say, Hey, you know, put this thing on the calendar. Um, talk a little bit about how people can invite one another and why that's important. Yeah, I mean, it kind of is just a natural thing. When you think about the events that you decide to attend personally, usually it's not just because you found out about it on Facebook or from a calendar. That might pique your interest at first, but very rarely are people going to venture out by themselves uh, to just show up and not know who's going to be there. Most of the time, it's that personal invitation saying, hey, I think you are a good friend of mine and would personally enjoy this event. Will you come with me? Or I'm going, in this case, I'm going to be online. Uh, so you'll have someone that you know there. That makes all the difference. Um, at least in my opinion, I am much more likely to go and join things, put myself out there more when I know that there's going to be some community, some part of the community that I'm familiar with. Yeah, a wingman never hurts to have, you know, in person, virtually. So I'm tasking all of you out there watching and anybody who you know, invite somebody, you know, to whatever thing you are choosing to go to, just shoot a note, a text. Um, you know, I said the other day, I don't know if you can still poke people on Facebook, but poke them on Facebook if that's even a thing in 2020 and say, hey, would you join me? I'd like to do this. I think you'd, you'd like coming and yeah, let's, let's do it together. Because I think that it does matter and it's more fun, more people, more fun. So, so see if you can do that out there. Um, you are in charge of our newsletter. So um, for those of you who love the Veterans Bridge Home Monday newsletter, you have Randy to, to credit to that. What's new? You've changed it around a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I can't say you can totally credit me for that. Pete Vacco uh, put in a lot of the legwork to get that to where it is today. I've just taken over in the past few weeks recently, but we have made some changes. Um, the most significant, I would say, is new headers to really organize kind of what we're going for. So you'll see every week we'll have some news that we're just collecting from around different resources that are relevant to veterans in the area. But you'll also see our three pillars there every week. So that's community engagement, veteran services, and employment. So every week you can expect to see those three headers and different things revolving around that. So of course, community engagement's my area. You're gonna see the events that we have coming up. Um, employment is mostly gonna be just some highlights from Paul Bill's uh, CAVE newsletter for employment, but also, and link you to that as well. And just some ideas of 
different places that are hiring, whatever we're highlighting that week. And then services is going to be a really great place to check out really what BBH has been up to. This has become my favorite part of the newsletter every week, working with our care coordination team to get that impact report and see how many people we've actually helped uh, year to date, whether that's unique families, um, unique services, where people are getting housing and employment and all of that good stuff. It really gives you that tangible feel to see that Veterans Bridge Home, while we're doing all of these fun things, uh, we're really doing a lot to impact people's lives. Yeah, I, I think it's been a really good ad. And I'd be remiss if I didn't give a shout out if he's still out there. Uh, Marcel Solomon, the grandfather of the BBH newsletter who, who created the first one. So um, shout out to, to Marcel out there who, who created the newsletter. But that, you know, a lot of people are like, what do you do, right? And that impact, it shows the the real, I mean, those are lives, changed lives, um, mm -hmm. help, and that it is important. I think it's, especially today, it's so important to know, you know, what's going on. And when, when you're sort of stuck at home without without a lot of that contact. So, so yeah. you know, great work. Always my um, favorite part to add in there. It's always very uplifting for me personally. And if I'm not receiving the newsletter, how do I sign up for the newsletter? You can sign up for the newsletter by going to our website. So there should be a link that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it just says connect with us or um, uh, it's us. Scroll down, like maybe homepage, go down a little bit. You can sign up for the newsletter. You can see past newsletters. We're keeping about a quarter's worth of them out there. And then we're just, we're, we're archiving them for posterity. But yeah, so that's, so, so go to our website or have a friend send it and you can, you can sign up there, but um, make sure you're, if, if you're not getting the newsletter, you're wrong. You need to get it. It's good. It comes out every, every Monday, rain or shine. So um, COVID or not, um, we're there for you. Well, hey, that's it for today's BBH lunch break. Randy, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Good seeing everyone. Same. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the VBH lunch break with our very own Patrick Hayes. He's going to discuss topics around veteran care coordination. He's going to dig into some of those, those numbers as well. So in the meantime, as always, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and be the bridge. Bye.